Do you guys reckon that Maro Itoje and Owen Farrell um, would be a pretty handy wee addition to that Chiefs lineup? I'd, I'd love to see it. Oh, I'd love to see, imagine this: Brody Retallick and Itoje locking partners. Oof. Oh man, that'd be unbelievable. I'd, and Weber, I'd love, uh, Weber to Farrell. Oh, I love Farrell as well, man. I, oh yeah, I really rate him. Eh? So I'd I just, love to see him down here. Hey, there's they, they play a different style. But, man, you use Joe March as an example. He's a great player. He was exceptional for us when he played. He fully adjusted his game to our style and, and you know, looked right at home towards the end there. Um, and, and he's just finding himself at international level. Bring guys like that over. Man, that would be, be great for our comp. Be great for players as well to test themselves against guys like that. Chiefs would be really wrapped. Yeah, I just think it'd be just great to like you know, you just having those kind of caliber guys coming down. You know, if they do play, well, obviously Joe came down with the blues and that, but you know, getting those guys to come over here and then you know, having an opportunity that they might be like, oh, you know what, we actually might want to end up playing here, and being able to you know, take a little sabbatical of a six month you know, out of their, their contracts and being able to play down here. So, I'd love to see him, mate. I'd love to see a Toji. I've, oh, I love, I love watching him play, and even the likes of Owen Farrell and the caliber of those guys coming into our competition, um, especially moving forward. Um, with you know, put the possibility of us not playing South African teams or anything like that, having caliber of those kind of players coming and playing with us, um, it's only going to add to our competition. How do you set up the rules? Like, how many of those foreign stars is enough per team if you were to do it? You don't want them, I suppose, and maybe even every team because that kind of needs to be a special thing, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a tough one because. It's probably going to be a one-off for the current situation. So maybe each needs to be looked at on its own accord. Um, don't really have an answer for you on that, uh, which is rare for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think as well, I think like we have to be a little bit careful as well with young guys coming through the system as well. And, you know, their Would they not be great for young guys coming through? It's, you know, I think learn off, imagine you know, seeing Farrell and Itoji at training. Like, oh, I'm, a, I'm an old bull and I'd be up <laughs> for seeing them at training. Yeah, you know, but you know, you know what it's like when you when you're younger, Jip. You know, you just want you want to be playing, and you see that kind of stuff. And you're like, oh man, but you know, you can take it one or two. Know, ways. Have have yeah. we not just seen? Have we not just discussed that the Chiefs Chiefs youth is maybe probably held them back? Yeah. Even Warren Gatlin's been saying that the age of their team, and and yeah, I agree. The only way you can learn is by getting out there. But you can mm. certainly learn off guys like that. Wow, yeah. it'd be massive, yeah. and they're young men as well. You know, they're not old. Uh, no. I don't know. It would be great for the game. It would be awesome for yep. the spectator. 100%. And I'd love to see how Otoji would go, like week to week. You know, his... he'd, go, he'd go in real, I reckon. I oh, know. I'd just love to see it just, yeah. to, just to get it. It'd just be a good test study. You know, <laughs> yeah. Because both, both hemispheres are like, oh, we're the best and toughest. And, you know, it'd just be great to yeah. mix and mingle and see, see how, how, well he, how well they go, you know. It'd be great. Yeah. Unleash his skill set, hey? Like, you feel like there's something to be maximised there. We've seen incredible play from him, but maybe not everything. But it might even grow his game, like you say. You know, like coming down here and playing a different style. You know, you talk to Joe, it's totally different the way we see the game of rugby. It's like yin and yang. How and did he it, say, what, what did he say around that, Chip? Just around that, obviously. We're talking he about he about just about said it's Joe. just totally, totally different the way they... I can't go into specifics because I'll give away certain things that we do, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's definitely you know the Crusaders like your secrets, mate. Yeah. Oh man, just almost got no, him. We're playing him Sunday. We're playing him Sunday. Almost had him. Chat next week, and I can talk. Oh, yeah, nice. Damn. Yeah. Well, I thought I had you there, Jip. Damn, mate, you've already got the trophy. You don't need to do any more investigation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd love to see him there. I'd love to see a Toja here. I think it'd be great. 